Tony Shaheen has been in training for the Boston Marathon for almost a year, but this Portsmouth mom of four says she's still not a runner. I was joking when my knee was causing trouble. I, said, it, it, I will crawl across that finish line, but I will finish. Her last race was a 5K she did with her dad when she was eight. And it's what happened to her oldest daughter at that same age, which is motivating her to tackle Boston. When Ellie was eight, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease, and there is no cure. And it basically means that your body has to manage in very careful and precarious ways dosing insulin on a continuous basis. So if Ellie didn't have insulin, she literally would not be alive. And she has to take synthetic insulin wearing a pump. She has to monitor her blood sugar 24-7. Uh, and managing that balancing act of getting the right amount of insulin to manage what's happening in her blood sugar is really hard. Ellie is my inspiration. And I know that no matter how hard that day will be on me physically, it pales in comparison to what she's been through and what she continues to face as she lives with this disease every day. Ellie is now 24 and living in LA, but she'll be back home cheering for her mom on Marathon Monday. It makes me emotional thinking about it because she's such an extraordinary person and she's dedicated so much of her time and her life since I was diagnosed to trying to get type 1 diabetes cured and, and I really think it's because of people like my mom that I can be able to benefit from a cure at some point in my lifetime. Stephanie has been an advocate for diabetes research. Her marathon journey has raised more than $30,000 for Jocelyn Diabetes Center in Boston, which has provided vital care to Ellie since that diagnosis. They made it such a warm and welcoming environment for something that is really scary for anybody to go through, but especially a, a little kid. Not enough people have access to Jocelyn doctors. Not enough people have access to the technology. Not enough people can go to the pharmacy and know they can afford their insulin. That's, that's just not acceptable. We gotta do better. During those first days, a Jocelyn specialist offered some advice that Stephanie has leaned on during her marathon training. And she said, no, no, you, you can handle this. You know, just keep putting one foot in front of the other, take it one step at a time, and it's gonna work out. It's a perfect analogy. It is a marathon. It's a long-term journey. Jocelyn, one of the world's preeminent diabetes research centers, sees about 20,000 people a year and is at the forefront of groundbreaking clinical trials. I do believe that, you know, in our lifetimes, it is possible to imagine a cure for diabetes and certainly our ability to help people with diabetes live normal lives. Jocelyn Research has contributed to advances like the device that Ellie wears to help regulate her blood sugar and technology that enables Stephanie to monitor Ellie's levels and alerts if they're near the danger zone. Before this, Ellie relied on her diabetes alert dog, Coach. Oh, you Stephanie even wrote a bestseller about this canine lifesaver. Paw print. His actual paw, too. You should have seen us trying to get an impression of his paw. 86. You're a good boy. We first met Ellie and Coach a decade ago. Using his keen sense of smell, he'd alert Ellie when her blood sugar was off, and Ellie would check her levels with pinpricks, often 10 times a day. Coach was at her side through middle and high school, and even went with her to college at Harvard. He's now enjoying retirement. A dog's sense of smell is said to diminish at his age. He still alerts me though if I'm home um, and my blood sugar is high or low, he will still alert me. And I think anytime he sees me or is around me, he thinks he's supposed to be working. Looking ahead, Stephanie sees Jocelyn playing a key role in insulin producing cell therapy being developed close to home. And the beautiful thing is in New Hampshire, we're gonna be making these cells right in Manchester at the Advanced Regenerative Manufacturing Institute and with Vertex here in Portsmouth at Lanza. And to think that 
the cells that could ultimately cure my daughter's disease are being made in New Hampshire is so motivating and inspiring and really gives us incredible reasons to be hopeful. Stephanie's family is inspired by her marathon mission to support Jocelyn and all of those facing diabetes head on. When she says she's going to do something, she's going to do it, and she's going to do it 150%, even if it's something she's never done before. I'll probably be crying. She may be crying. I don't know. I may like have to hold her up or something. I think I'll say thank you so much for, for doing this and, and for, for being the most incredible mom I could ever ask for.